um, I was thinking, who does she remind me of? And then I realized, Morticia Adams, of course. Morticia Adams, this is who she reminds me of. Except that we already have the baby soon, you know. I think this is what Archie's going to look like when he's grown up. And she's just perfect. Okay, Harry doesn't have a mustache yet. But we have the uncle. This is Prince Andrew. Um, yeah, who could Wednesday be? I think the daughter of William could be could play her. So let's see. So Morticia Adam look, because we know how attractive that is. So Meghan Markle joined this year's Girls Up Leadership Summit because she could be such a good leader for young girls. So. She says, keep challenging, keep pushing, because, you know, you really work really hard. What actually do you do? Oh, I forgot. Uh, nothing. Make them a little un uncomfortable, because it's only in discomfort that we actually create the conditions to reimagine our standards. As says a woman who lives in an $11 million villa in L.A. with servants, I don't think she even changed her son's diaper. And so we need to have difficult conditions. A girl that went to a private girls' school who always had help from every man she's ever met. Our policies are leadership to move towards real representation and meaningful influence over the structure of decision-making and power. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like she copy-paste from, uh, from, I don't know, a textbook on feminism. Or introduction to... How to manipulate people. Despite what some might say, this re-imaging of an equal society, it's not a zero-sum game where one side wins and one side loses. It's not at all. It's mutually beneficial and better for everyone. She's like contradicting. It's like blah, 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 blah. What is she looking for? Communism? Because of that, that path to get us there will take all of us. Absolutely meaningless blah, blah. If she had handed this Never mind university, never mind first year undergraduate, never mind high school, she would have gotten an F. It will take girls and women, it will take men and boys, it will take those that are black and those that are white collectively, because these are the only colors, of course, collectively tackling the inequalities and structural problems that we know exist. I believe we are on the pre precipice, very good word, precipice, or transformation so you get the transgenders too believing in true equality is not enough it's going to take more than belief we have to work for it every day when it's hard even when it makes us others feel uneasy but to speak up for ourselves we have to speak out for others who struggle to be heard okay so let's hear the whole speech sorry that was only the highlights it's such a joy to speak to you today, the young women around the world who aren't just poised to change the world, but who have already begun changing the world, like you did. Because Meghan Markle has changed so much. She brought a Happy Meal to somebody in L.A. during the, close, the lockdown. Very good. Last month, I had a chance to speak to the 2020 class at my high school alma mater, which is an all-girls school in Los Angeles. But we forgot to say a private school where only very, very wealthy people can go to or people whose father actually paid for them, the father she ignores. And I said they should, and that's really later on, she'll talk about compassion. That's where the father comes in. The elderly father just had a heart attack that she ignores. And I said they shouldn't see their graduation as an ending, but rather as a beginning, the beginning of a journey where they can Harness their work, values, and skills. Because that's what she did when she married a prince. She harnessed her work. What work? Values. What values? And skills. What skills? To rebuild the world around them. I thought to destroy the world around her more than rebuild. Many of you have already spent years embodying, and yes, even in enacting the changes you like to see in the world. The opportunity that lies ahead for you is the same one that graduates and millions of young women around the world have as well. Blah, blah, blah. You mean everybody's equal? You mean women are equal to men? You mean everybody's the same? Um, really weird. I want to share something with you. It's that 
those in the halls and corridors and places of power, from lawmakers to world leaders to executives, because those are the only groups of people that exist, all of those people, they depend on you more than you will ever depend on them. Bullshit. When did a CEO of a company ever depend on a woman? Really? Do you really think so? The women are in a position of power. That's new to me. And he, here's how I know this. But I know all of you at younger age than any moderate modern com comparison are setting the tone for an equitable humanity, not figuratively, literally. All right, we're moving towards an equal society where everybody's equal. Sounds like communism to me, and that didn't work very well, did it? Ask Russia. This is a humanity that desperately needs you to push it, push us forcibly in a more inclusive, more just, and more inclusive, right? So you mean you have the same rights as a British taxpayer who works hard all day and pays taxes so you and Prince Harry can lay around the swimming pool all day and play ball with the Labrador. That's right. That's inclusive. Just because it's just that a, a British taxpayer has to pay your way. Two mil, million pounds a year to be exact. Well, you do absolutely nothing but make speeches that you charge for. And more emphatic direction because you have so much empathy. You went to Africa and all you did was talk about yourself and how difficult it is to have a baby at 37 with servants in a country where people are servants. And not to only frame the debate, but to be in charge of the debate, because you really are in charge of your husband. Upraising justice on gender, climate change, mental health, and well-being. So let's see, gender, wow. When would, did you ever do anything independently, not depending on men? Climate change, 